Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is on Proposition 8 of Book 3, which I'm going to divide into three separate parts. This proposition states that if you have a circle, with the center being M, and a point outside the circle, D, if you draw lines through the circle, one through the center of the circle, the line that goes through the center of the circle and reaches the convex part of our circle will be larger than any line drawn through the circle, not through the center. So DA will be greater than DE. And as you move away from the center of the circle, these lines will get progressively smaller. So DA will be less sorry, DA will be larger than DE, which will be larger than DF, which will be larger than DC. The second part of this proposition states that if you take the same lines, but look at where they intersect on the convex part of the circle, DG will be less than DK, which will be less than DL, which will be less than DH. So as you move away from the center of the circle, the lines will get longer. And finally, if you have a line DK, there is one and only other one and only one other line DG that will be equal in length to DK. So, first proof, part one. Let's look at our pink triangle. Now, EM plus DM being the two sides of the triangle, will always be larger than the third side of the triangle, DE. But EM is equal to AM. So in other words, instead of EM plus MD, we have AM plus MD, or in other words, this entire line, will be larger than the third side of the triangle, DE. So we have DA is greater than DE. Now if we look at the pink triangle and the green triangle, FM is equal to AM, EM, excuse me, because they're both radii of the same circle. Both triangles have a common line, DM. So according to Proposition 24 of Book 1, the base of the triangle will be larger for the triangle that has the larger angle. So the angle in the pink triangle is larger, so the base of the pink triangle ED will be larger than FD because this angle is larger than that angle. And that comes from Proposition 24 of Book 1. Using the same logic, we have FM equals CM. MD is shared between both triangles. So the triangle with the larger angle, in this case the green triangle, will have the larger base. So FD will be larger than CD. So there we have demonstrated the first part of this proposition, that DA is greater than DE, greater than DF, greater than DC. For the second part of this proposition, let's consider the triangle. I don't know what color that is, but we'll call it pink. Now, DK plus KM will be greater than DM, but DM is equal to dg plus gm. If we look at this equation here, since km and gm are equal, they are the radii of the same circle, we can effectively cross those out, gm and km, and we are left with dk is greater than dg. So dk is greater than dg. Carrying on, if we look at these two triangles, the sort of pinkish one and the blue one, which is encased in this pink one, according to Proposition 21 of Book 1, if we have two triangles where one is completely inside the other, then the sum of DL, LM will be larger than DK plus KM. But again, LM and KM are equal in length, so we can 
remove them from this side of the equation, and we have dL is greater than dK. And we use the same logic for this light blue and purple triangle to show that dH is larger than dL. Putting this all together, we have dG is less than dK, which is less than dL, which is less than dH. So this is the second part of this proposition has just been proved. Now going on to the third part of the proof, we're going to construct another line from M to the edge of the circle such that this angle is the same. So KMG angle will be the same. And connect the dots. Now KM is equal to MB, again because they are the radii of the same circle. We have one line that is common to these two triangles, MD. So these two triangles are equal. And if they're equal, then the sides are all equal. So in other words, DK is equal to DB. So thus we have found another line that is equal to DK, and it is DB. But this proposition states that there is no other line from D to the circle that will be equal to DK. So we'll demonstrate that by contradictions again. So let's assume that DN is equal to DK. Well, DK equals DG equals DN, so we have that DN is also equal to DB. But in the prior portion of this proposition, we've already demonstrated that DB will be less than DN. And here we have our contradiction. These two cannot both be true. And since we have a contradiction, that demonstrates that DN cannot be equal to DK. And there we have demonstrated the third part of this proposition is that there is only one other line that is equal to DK in length coming from the point D. So DK is our starting line and that there is one and only one other line that is equal in length and that is DG. And thus we have demonstrated all three parts of this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.